Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Timmy Treacle, also known as Horror Fan for Life. And today I got a couple of movie reviews for you guys. Yesterday was an off day for me. I had no internet, uh, no new movies to watch on my DVR. So I ended up watching some older movies that I'd seen before. Uh, Jason Goes to Hell, uh, Flatliners, uh, just to name a few. But uh, today I got back into my movie watching. And so I'm going to bring these movie reviews for you guys. The first one is called The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. And this was a uh, June 1st, 2005 dramedy that has a 6.5 out of 10 on IMDb, a 77% on Rotten Tomatoes, and a 90% on Google. And the movie had a $25 million budget. It made $42 million at the box office. And it was directed by Ken uh, Wapis and written by Delia Efron and Elizabeth Chandler. And the movie stars, it's got a great young cast, Amber Tamlin, Alexis Bledel, Amer <clears throat> America Ferroa, Blake Lively, and uh, Jenna Boyd. And it is based on the book of the same name by Anne Brashares. And... This movie is about four friends, Tibby, uh, Lena, uh, Carmen, and Bridget, who uh, were all born within uh, a week of each other, and they formed this great friendship uh, starting from their young age all the way into high school. One summer, they all separate, uh, but before they separate, they're in the store trying on clothes. And there's this one particular pair of pants that when they all try it on, it fits them all. And they're all different sizes. So they believe these pants to be very lucky. So while they're all in different places during the summer, they're all going to share the pants with each other throughout the summer. Uh, so it helps each one of them out. But as we get to know these characters, though, each one of them is dealing with a lot of different things. Uh, in their life uh, you have uh, uh, parents who are separated you have a another one who uh, has lost a parent you have another one who uh, starts a relationship uh, that ends a heartbreak I mean there's just a lot of things going on with these characters and I'm not going to get into spoilers or anything because I don't like doing that. No matter how old the movie is, I just don't like to spoil movies. But each one of these characters is fascinating and great in their own right. And I fell in love with these characters right off the bat. To me, this movie uh, could be its own soap opera. It could be a TV show. It's that good. It draws you in to these characters. And then there's a, uh, another character in this movie, a 12-year-old girl, uh, whose name is Bailey. Uh, she befriends uh, one of the girls in this movie. I'm not going to say who, but uh, this movie, uh, teared, I teared up in this movie several times. And uh, the young girl who plays Bailey, uh, Jenna Boyd, is freaking awesome in this movie. Along with the four uh, main stars, I love this movie. I I wanted more, and I had no idea. But on uh, the Roku channel, which I where I watched this movie from, there was a sequel right next to it. So I was really excited to uh, uh, just go ahead and watch these movies back to back, and that's what I did. But this first one is phenomenal. I love the character development. I love. Uh, the things we get to know about these characters, uh, some great things, some bad, some upsetting things, but it, it just makes for a great movie. And when you have characters like this, the the movie just it just flies by. Even if you have ads, uh, like I had in this movie, but I don't care. It, it's it's just a great movie. The writing, directing, the score, everything about this movie was fantastic. And I couldn't wait to watch the sequel, which I will be reviewing next. Uh, but again, this movie, it could be 
I think an hour long soap opera and it could work. And I think it would last a very long time, uh, especially with the characters in this movie. Uh, with that though, I'm going to give the sisterhood of the traveling pants a 10 out of 10 and two thumbs up. So in the comment section below, if you've seen this movie, give me your thoughts and opinions. And, um, did you look forward to the sequel or have you seen the sequel? Let me know as well. Uh, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And if you like this review, hit that like button. But thanks for watching. Stay tuned for my review of the sequel. Thanks for watching and check you later.